Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to this video on despawn clocks. Now what you see in front of you is indeed a despawn clock. And what's happening here is that light is going to stay lit for about five minutes, then it's going to turn off for a few moments and then turn back on. Now I bet you you can think of hundreds of different projects you could build with a clock like that. Goes on for five minutes, turns off for a few moments, turns back on for five minutes. Now let me show you exactly how that works. If we take a look at the top here, we've got a dropper. In this case, we've got 52 mushrooms. Could be any item you want. But these items are going to drop down to our pressure plate down here. And you can see there's a mushroom down there right now, and it's floating. It's laying on that pressure plate, which is powering up this block right here, which in turn powers up our lamp. Now what's going to happen is every five minutes that item will despawn. It'll trigger this redstone torch in redstone, and it'll cause this dropper to drop another mushroom. And that cycle goes on until we run out of mushrooms. So hopefully that makes sense. Now you're probably wondering what the button is for. Well, let me show you. Let's imagine that this despawns. So let me get closer here to pull it out. Oh, we pulled out two. Bummer. There's no mushrooms in there. Now what do we do? We push our button and get the whole thing started again. Now let's show you exactly how the despawn process works. I got to get close here. There we go. And you can see how the lamp went off for a few moments then turned back on. Let's see if I can get that lucky again. There we go. And that's a pretty straightforward functioning of a despawn clock. Let me show you exactly how one is made. You're going to find that this is extremely simple, especially with a constructed one right in the background. <laughs> we'll, we'll put our first block down there. We will put a button on there. And then we will put the redstone torch right there and put on our pressure plate. Now we're going to put another block and put our redstone dust. Now one of the things that you need to do, now this doesn't have to be glass, it could be anything, but you do need to contain this pressure plate. And the reason is, is that your item will want to fall off the pressure plate, I guarantee it. So that keeps it on board. Now the last thing we need, besides our, let's put our lamp and our redstone in here. There we go. Now the last thing we need is the dropper. And we're going to have to be a little creative to get that up there. We're going to put these blocks here. And we want to make sure that our little smiley face points down. And it is. So we can get rid of these now. And the last thing we need to do is load up our dropper. And you can see that we have 33 mushrooms in our dropper. And of course, it's not running right now. We have to get that first mushroom in there. So let's get her fired up. And our lamp is on. And our mushroom is sitting here for about the next five minutes. And everything is working the way it should. Let's despawn the mushroom. Whoops, we got two of them there. Let's push our button. Oh, got it again. Let's see if we can get them to despawn here. There we go. And you can see that it does indeed work. Now, the light is on for five minutes, off for a few moments. What if you wanted to go the other way? Well, that's pretty straightforward. All you got to do is throw an inverter in here. Now our lamp is on. And if we pull this mushroom out of here, our light goes on for a few moments. That's it. Pretty simple stuff. Now, if you like this video, please leave a like, a comment, or best of all, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, eh, keep it to yourself. Thanks for watching.